Alright, so the first video I made about plowing, it was my first time, um, and then my intent was to make a new video every time I went plowing, just to show you how my uh, educational process turns out, and uh, it just became too much of a nuisance. I just started plowing and forgot about the camera, didn't have a decent mount, uh, I gave up until like today. I think it's time to do an update because winter's a lot different now than my first um, my first job, and uh, I'm gonna take you along for a ride just to show you how much snow we got now. All right, let's roll. Notice is how high the snow banks are now. Last video had none. Turn off the fan so you can hear me. Uh, of course, the motor's louder than the fan, so you still won't hear me. I cruise coast I don't think I mentioned I don't think I did any dialogue in the first video this is a 2001 Ford F-250 with a 7.3 liter diesel great truck I bought in the summer well at the end of summer or in the fall to pull my trailer that you saw there at the beginning hang on But then it turned out that it was such a good truck, a good heavy-duty truck, that I decided to put a plow on the front and do a little work with it. Because I have a fourplex in Stratford here that uh, I was really getting tired of using the snow blower on, man. The snow blowing in my face and going down my neck, I was really getting tired. So I thought I'd give this plow thing a try, and uh, it is awesome. I mean, it just it's awesome. But I'm just about out of space to store the snow everywhere I go. I've been doing the neighbors now and a couple other freebies just to learn so that next year I can start charging. But uh, I've learned, I mean this has been a hell of a winter and I've learned fast and I've had just about every scenario you can come up with in one year I think. I don't know, there'll probably be new stuff pops up yet but it's not as easy as I thought it would be. It's actually a lot trickier than I thought it would be. I mean, getting used to the buttons took me a while. I was always backwards and just combobulated, but I got it sorted out. Now I'm not bad with the buttons. But uh, I'll tell you, boy, do you ever got to watch backing out onto the road constantly. Sometimes you wish you just didn't have to worry about it. You just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But the most important thing is watching for traffic. I don't know where they come from half the time. I'm sure the road's clear. I turn back and all of a sudden there's a car behind me. Like, what the hell? They must have pulled out of a driveway or something. I don't know, but I'm sure you guys have been doing this for a while. I've had some close calls back in the day when you were new too, but almost backed into a cruiser for Christ's sake. <laughs> but he was a bit of a, he put himself in danger, man. He, I was up in a big snowbank and uh, he knew I was backing up, but for some reason he pulled in right behind me to do a Yui on the road, and, and all of a sudden I just saw this big police in my rearview mirror and nailed the spike the brakes and just looked at him, just stared at him as he drove away. But uh, I don't think he cared much. <laughs> so yeah, it's minus 28 degrees today. I don't know what that is in American, but uh, it's frickin' cold here. kind of curious that it could be that cold and yet the roads are wet somehow I don't know how that works but anywho I guess the Sun is just beaming down on them and making them wet but I gotta leave the fan on just a little bit there just to get a little heat in here because it goes out quick my windows are frosting up already this will be what the hell was that this will be the, the last little cleanup I do until I get the truck in. It actually has a front wheel bearing out of it. Found out yesterday. 
Uh, I kind of taken my chances even driving it at all, but uh, it's not like a constant grinding yet. It's a ching, 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 ching. You know, it's not, I don't know, I think it's still turning. It's not spinning on the on the axle shaft. Not all seized up and, and, and goring the axle shaft all to hell. So I think I'll get away with just one little drive and then I gotta get it over to the shop. Ah, sakes, it's gonna be like a thousand dollar repair. I just put a $3,600 transmission in the thing three weeks ago. So, needless to say, <laughs> it's been a rough year, especially for doing plowing for free. Even if I charged, I wouldn't have even broke even this year with all the damn repairs. But the truck does have almost 200,000 miles on it, 300,000 kilometers plus. So, uh,. Yeah, that's uh, that's the mileage that things start going on, and once everything's fixed, I just, I just, I'll be happy. Uh, I love this truck. It's a great truck, and I want to keep it forever. It's rust-free truck. I found it on Kijiji, believe it or not, at a dealer in Toronto. I just thought for sure I'd get ripped off and get junk. But I hopped on the Harley and headed down, and my God, completely rust-free underneath everything. Must have been from the south. It was originally from Quebec, but um, I don't get a used car package here in Ontario from Quebec, but I understand that you can still get it. You just got to go to the MTO and they'll order it for you or something, but I've been a little bit lazy on that, so I'd like to find out its history and where it was, because when I got it, it had beach sand in it, and, and I think it was really fine beach sand, so I'm thinking it maybe hauled a camper around Florida its whole life. But anyways, here it is in the winter time now. I got her oiled up real good. Uh, I crown it. I'm going to start crown. Well, I crowned it when I bought it, and I'm going to crown it again in the spring. And so I'm going to do it twice a year. A little pricey, but like I say, I want to put money into this truck and make it last because it does everything I want it to do. That's a 9,000 pound camper I got at home. It's a toy hauler. So half the time I got two Harleys in the back. So I'm probably pushing 10,000 pounds actually when I got the bikes in the back and my old F-150, it just, it just could not haul it, man. It tried, but it just couldn't do it with the 4.6. This truck has no problem pulling the trailer. Yep, look at winter, hey, winter back in Ontario. Friendly old fellow with the snowblower. Look at that pile on the left. I mean, this is what we're seeing all over the place. I'm just about, I mean, I'm just about done with a plow. I, I, I'm like, well, I don't know what else I can do with a plow. I'm running out of places to put it. I actually, well, I'll show you when I get there. I'm just up the street here, but I had to build a new spot on the front lawn of this fourplex just to start dragging snow out to the street, push it along the sidewalk, get it up on the front lawn. My storage spots are just full, oh, and I got four tenants in there, so they all got cars, and you know, I'd like to keep a spot for a company for them, but I just don't have it this year. Uh, it's all snow storage this year. So what I got is a six, no, seven and a half foot wide western plow. It's a mid-weight plow, so it's not a real heavy duty one. It's a poly plow, plastic one, but uh, it's it's done, served me really well. I didn't want to get one too wide until I get some experience. I don't want to like clip buildings and cars and things, so it's a lot of truck for a little plow. You can see there on the front lawn there where, uh, where I had to build a spot, but you know what? This is actually in really good shape in here. I don't think I need to really, well, you know, I'll just push it up to the end. Oh God, the plow is barely moving. It's so cold out. I'll just clean it up a little bit here. I don't like to move too fast because this little lightweight plow folds over pretty easily. <laughs> All the cars, yesterday I came and did a good job and all the cars were out of the parking lot. It was beautiful. Not so much lucky this time. Three of the, three of the four are in here.
but uh, when all the cars are gone, I like to get in there close to the house and do a really good job, but not today. That's probably going to be it. Not much to do. Looks good. Uh, I should probably shovel beside the van, but it's too cold out. I'm staying in once more. Take off. Uh, I got a. I got a girl that posted up on Facebook, a friend that um, said her snowblower is broken. So I suggested I come by with the plow. It's not far from here. So yeah, <laughs> there's my future storage on the front lawn. That's probably going to fill up in the next snowstorm. So I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I'll figure it out. Anyway, oh yeah, the fluid is just like. mustard in this plow, man. It's hardly even moving. Maybe if I just keep moving it back and forth, it'll warm it up. I don't know. Does that happen? Does the, uh, does the hydraulic pump uh, get hot, maybe, and get that fluid thinned out a little bit? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But I'm going to just keep humming along here. I'll just have to take my time. I don't rush it anyways. I don't want to destroy everything on this truck my first year. Like I say I'm not charging, but I did the end of a girl's driveway yesterday. I saw her out park uh, shoveling, so I just quick pulled up and did the heavy stuff at the end. And then a guy in a Mercedes comes rolling on up beside me and jumps out to my window. I thought he was going to give me shit about something. and Throws me a $20 bill and says, can you do the one there on the end? A little semi driveway. I said, hell yeah. <laughs> Like I say, I'm not, I'm not charging. I'm not like I didn't get the proper plow insurance this year because I'm just doing my own stuff anyway, friends. But next year, I'll see what it costs, and uh, it, there seems to be quite a demand for it. I get a lot of people asking, and other people, you know, through them are saying, you know, a guy. I just keep saying no, no, no. But you know, twenty dollars for four minutes of work is. Uh, you know, at least it'll pay my gas, it'll pay for the plow, it'll pay for my worn out hub. All the other parts are probably going to go on this thing. And uh, truth be told, it's 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 kind of fun, you know. It's uh, I know some days I go, holy shit, I was just out plowing an hour ago and another storm blew in and I got to go out again. And then it's not fun. But, you know, once you're out and you're warm and you don't have to wear gloves and you don't have to get out of the truck, it's just pushing buttons. It's, yeah, it's kind of fun. And I think, oh, I know, I should just get a backhoe. That's That's got even more buttons and things I can do stuff with. But then I remember, wait a minute, I, I do have a job. I have a business to run. It's just I'm not very busy in the winter. I hardly do anything in the winter. So I bought, figured I could maybe supplement myself with, uh, with the plow. Now, I don't know where I'm going here. 87... That's 38, so we'll be down the road here. Let's, uh, where are we here? Oh, way down here, I guess. No, um, what is it, 87, I think she said? Let me just check. Oh, shit. I forgot my phone. Damn it. I'm gonna have to guess that it's 87. Window will go down. Fuck sakes. Frozen, man. I'm gonna wait for this. Some girl just came out of the house there and looked at me like a burglar. I'll wait for her to pull her car out and they can do better. But I saw a pickup truck in the back there and it looks like Bev, so I'm pretty sure that was it. Maybe I'll go in and talk to her. I don't know what's happening here. 87, yeah, 87, because my Harley's an 88, and that's how I remember it. It's one number off, off the 87. And I see it looks like somebody's been plowing it because there's a big snowbank at the end of her driveway, like as if it's been pushed up with the truck. It is pretty messy in here. Yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this a couple times and clean it up for. Her. I don't really like going to a driveway for this first time because I don't really know what's under there. Here. 
least I know it's her driveway now. <laughs> and it's a nice quiet street, so backing out onto it's going to be pretty safe, I think. I'm probably going to do a couple back scrapes, which doesn't add, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. It just slides over the top. But I'll, I'll do a couple like that, and then I'd like to push forward again. It'll cut in a little further, and then drag that out. But no sense making a giant pile and then and then trying to back that out because I find it just leaves a lot in the driveway so anybody else that's new you cannot spin your head around enough I mean you don't want to run over anybody you don't want to hit a parked car things change constantly I'll pull forward here and then I'll go back and all of a sudden there's a car parked on the other side of the road. Where did it even come from? I don't even know. No. There's an air conditioner on the side I really don't want to hit. Maybe I'll hook it that way and then try to drag some more back out into the driveway. Oh, now that I made a really good mess, I gotta clean it up. Yeah. Man, this blade is really digging in over here. I don't really know why. We're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. What? We're gonna have to drag a little more up. Oh, we got three cars coming. How is that even possible on a quiet little road like this? Well, they're all going the same place, I think. 
I make. Oh, good one. So, here's what I'll do now is pull the rest out onto the road. Fuck. That didn't sound good. And then I just drag it down the side of the road and push it into the bank. been doing this year is small driveways. Oh, for fuck's sakes, here comes a car. I was just about done. I'll let him squeeze by. <laughs> it turns out I pushed the snow up on the neighbor's lawn. You see, these are the things new people do. They don't know which lawn to push the snow on. I saw a pile there already, and it turned out it was uh, her brother has a truck with a plow, and uh, I guess he had come by and did the same thing I did. Pushed it to the easiest spot, which was the neighbor's lawn. But she says the lady's pretty good, and she'll talk to her, and she'll be all right. In fact, she should really, once she gets her snowblower fixed, she just go over and snowblow the lady's driveway. I was just about to go in and, and, and pull it out, but I'm just afraid I don't know who she is, and she might give me heck, and I don't know what's under the snow. Maybe garden gnomes galore. Uh, but I kind of like to spend a little extra time and, and just tidy it up. To tell you the truth, I think snow blow, plowing a driveway looks like shit. Uh, it's nothing compared to snow blowing, which looks excellent, and even shoveling, which looks really good. But I'm old and shoveling would kill me, so I, uh, I do the dirty plow. It's quick and easy. And at this point, I don't think a lot of people even care what it looks like anymore. Just get the shit out of my driveway. I gotta get to work. Another month and it's gonna start melting anyway. If you can hear that, probably not with that big loud motor, but if I coast, you might hear my bearing. Okay, here it goes. I don't know, maybe the vibration will come up through the, the camera and you'll get that, but I'm gonna pull in here and take a look. Uh, I'm running out of places to put snow in here too. I had to make a new pile. Yeah, I might as well give it a, oh yeah, it's worth doing a quick drag here, make it look a little nicer. But this is my narrowest driveway. I don't know that I'd want a wider plow in here. I, like, I, I think an eight foot plow would be all right. I could probably wedge it in here without doing too much damage. But I see like chunks out of the tree, uh, out of the trees beside here. And uh, I can't help but think that was some poor sap with a slightly larger plow. 
or maybe they just weren't watching their mirrors and uh, caught their vehicle in trees. But those two up there are alright, but this one back here has a big gouge out of it. Uh, big. Oh yeah, there it is down there lower, below my win window level. Okay, this is a busy street, so I gotta be really careful. And there's a lot of pedestrians here, so check my mirrors both sides so that buddy behind me is not pulling out, and then just back out in the road, leave the pile, maybe just there, so because I'm gonna be well yeah, I guess I'm gonna go a little further than that. New guys, eh? And then uh, you know what, I don't need to make it any cleaner than that. One pass is gonna be fine today. But I feel a great big chunk of ice at the end of the road there. That's kind of annoying. This is gonna take a bit of a Able to get turned around in here. Yeah, I hardly dragged any snow back. I don't like how it is at the end. I'll clean that up. It's a big icy ridge. So. nice when it's uh, there's not many cars out this is a Sunday so so what I'd normally do in a driver like this is not drag it you know what I wonder why it hardly dragged any out I don't really understand why that is um, I'm thinking of giving it a push forward to get it to cut in Lost interest. Uh oh. Shite. There it goes. My plow, my, my button, I was pushing the right angle and it was going left. Holy. Everything's bad today. This has been like the worst winter for me. Our house flooded before Christmas. So it's still under construction, but of course we spent thousands of dollars of extras to get the electrical upgraded and then we decided to do the roof proper, the, the ceiling properly, and and then the transmission went in the truck, there's 3600, now the hub, we, the fourplex I was over at, the damn apartment needed uh, plumbing work and then we just said, well hell with it, we better just do bath fitters and get this whole shit covered over. That was another like $3600 or more. 